Hello, friends. Thank you so much for your time. This is Anna Future, where we are devoted to building academic excellence in students. In our video today, we are going to look at the proficiency of reusing our scientific capita to solve questions involving logarithmic differentiation. So if you are ready, I'm also ready for you. Let's dive in. Our first question being given to us is if y is equal to x with the power to x find the y dx. So what we do is that we have go straight to our calculator and we will bring our differential sign. And to do that, we will press on shift and the integral sign. So our differential sign now comes in. And we type this expression x goes to the power 3x go. x to the power 2x. After we are done, now we move to the far right where we can see x and f equal to a small box there. Now, it is asking us what value of x are we going to differentiate at? We are going to differentiate at 1 to be on the receiver side. So with this one, we are always going to differentiate at 1. So we put 1 there, we press equal to. It gives us an answer which is 2. So an answer has been given which is 2. So for us not to forget this answer, we are going to strike in our calculator. And to do that, we press on it and store and you store it in A. So you've been able to store it in A. So now for this question, if you have to solve it manually, this is the answer we will get. So we are going to compare the answer that what we have with the one we have solved with our calculator we had. So we will put input this expression into our calculator. So we have x raised to the power 2x. And come down have bracket 2 plus 2 len. And to get our len, this spare will get our len point of flip the mouse control. We press on it. You see, you can see that when I press on get a bracket that was introduced automatically. So whatever fancy that is there, I, when I input the fancy link, I need to close the bracket. Before I close the original bracket, we can see here. So it is what X. So you will let me X. And I close the brackets. Then I close the original brackets itself. If I do not close the lane brackets, when I press equal to, I will get mad error or syntax error. So let's see. After we are done inputting the expression, what we do is that we now press on calc. It is asking us what value of x do we want to put in. So we can remember that when we differentiate, we differentiate that x is equal to 1. So here we put 1 there, we press equal to. So when we press equal to, you can see what we have here. We check whether actually it is correct. We are going to divide this answer that we've gotten, the true, by the answer that was we stored in A. So we press our divide sign then alpha a if we get one then we can say that what this answer is actually was correct so when we do not get one then therefore we we know that what the answer that we've applied arrived that is what is wrong so let me when we pressed one it give us what when we press equal to it give us an answer of one so we can say that what this answer is actually correct so let's move on to question two Question 2, we have y is equal to x raised to the power x. So for this one, two, let's say you bring our differential sign. To do that, we press on shift and the integral sign. So we have x raised to the power x. So we come here, we input 1 there. Always, we will be integrated at, we will differentiate at x is equal to 1. So after that, we press equal to and gives us an answer of 1, an answer of 1. So, to, for, for us not to forget the answer before it's in A, so 6, store A. Then now, this answer that we got in, when we have to solve it, Malago, this is the answer that we got in. We are going to compare if what's actually this answer is correct. So we will input this expression into our calculator. So we have X exponent X Rapid hooking 1 plus ln of x. So ln of x, we close the brackets. So we've been able to work 
input the expression on our calculator. After I can repress calc, then to ask us what value of x are we differentiating at. So we put one there, repress equal to. You can see what it gave us an answer of one. And when we also differentiate this original question, we have what one. So therefore, we can see that what, uh, the answer that we've actually arrived at is correct. So let's move on to our last question. Our last question is if y is equal to 16 raised to the power s, you find y to the x. So to do that, we bring our differential sign. Then we input the question in 16 raised to the power x exponent 3. Then we come to here. We have one there. Remember, I said we will always differentiate x at one, so we put one there. Equal, you can see we have what one three three point zero eight four two five eight seven. So we will store the answer on our calculator and you that we press the so a. So we've been able to what store it. So we are going to check whether this answer that when we store manually for it. It's actually correct. So let's see. We input this expression. We have 16 s cube. Red cube. Bracket. Gray. S square. Length of system. Close the bracket. So now we've been able to input the expression on the calculator. We press our calc. You press on one. Let me. This is the answer that we got. To check whether it's actually correct, we will divide this answer with the answer we stored in A. When we arrive at positive one, we can say that it's actually correct. So let's see. Divided by alpha A equal. Can see what we arrived at one. So all too soon, we have come to the end of this video. If this video made your life easier, Show some love by hitting that like button. And if you want more quick and easy math tutorial, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube and turn on the bell icon so you never miss a lesson. Got questions? Drop them in the comment below. I would like to help. Thanks for watching our Keep learning, keep growing, and I'll see you in the next lesson.